Been recording, there we go. Okay, so hello everybody. Welcome to another National Geographic Learning Webinar. My name is Andrew. Thanks for joining us today. And uh, if you're just joining, welcome, welcome. We've been chatting with a few people just before we started here. And so do feel free to use the chat box as we go, but let's uh, quickly go through the housekeeping and then we'll get going. So uh, my name is Andrew. I'm a Senior Academic Consultant at National Geographic Learning, uh, working for Asia. Uh, we have teams all over the world and uh, I work in Asia and uh, Will, my colleague who's joined us here today is also uh, in Asia. As Will has said, um, in your chat options, just above where you type in the chat box, if you can switch that to everyone on the Zoom um, controls there and then we'll all be able to see your messages. That's great. Okay, so I've just got a really quick poll. I always do this when we get started. Who's here today? Uh, just let us know what uh, segments you teach. I'm always just curious. Uh, today we're looking at a five-year-old student program, five to six-year-old. So I'm interested in what you teach, just so I can uh, give you some context for what we're doing today. So I'll just give it another 15 seconds or so. And then we will move on. Seven seconds. Four seconds, three, two, one. Okay, that'll do, good job. Okay, so just quickly sharing the results on screen, if you can see. Um, so most of us are teaching teens and then young learners today, that's cool. Um, the things we'll be looking at today is actually for a younger program uh, than that, but you may get some ideas um, uh, of what you could do with what you're teaching uh, with a couple of the things we'll do today. Um, that's always the way is taking ideas uh, from different teaching sources and trying to put them together for your own uh, lessons and classes, right? Um, so as I just mentioned, please switch your chat options to everyone just above where you type. That would be cool. And if you want to drop any questions uh, as we go along, you can use the chat box, but I might miss them. Uh, if you use the Q&A function uh, on Zoom though, we will uh, they will get kept and we'll be able to reply to them. Either Will or one of my other colleagues will uh, answer directly in text or I'll look at them at the end of the webinar and we can go over uh, any questions there. Okay, um, so today uh, we are looking at a program called Reach for the Stars and the topic today or the unit is Quick Little Quails. Uh, which is from Unit 5 in Book C. Uh, this program has three books, A, B, and C, and we're looking at Book C today, okay? Um, now, what is Reach for the Stars? I just have to explain this program. It's a little different uh, to what some of you may teach and also what you might be used to teaching English in Asia uh, because this is not an English as a foreign language program, really, okay? Uh, this program, Reach for the Stars, is a single year program for grade K, just before you join grade one, uh, and it's a language literacy content and childhood development program. So it covers a lot of those things, especially literacy. And it's designed to help bridge uh, learners from wherever they're at into a one of those kind of higher outcome literacy kind of programs. Maybe it's an ESL, English as a Second Language program, or an English language arts program, uh, something in an international school, something like that. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to just increase the learner's abilities. We're trying to bridge up uh, from wherever they're at to get them ready to be able to work with this kind of content at the school they're going to in grade one, okay? Uh, now it assumes two things. One, it assumes that the students have a reasonable oral vocabulary. I'll mention what I mean by that in a second, but also it assumes that the students are learning to read and write in English. OK, learning being the operative word, they don't know how to read and write. They are learning as five year olds or maybe six year olds. OK, now, what do I mean about an oral vocabulary? Right. In the chat box, let me know if you've got a student uh, who is uh, from where I'm from, where I'm from New Zealand originally, um, which is actually where I'm sitting right now. Um, if you've got a five year old just starting school in New Zealand, how much vocabulary do you think that that child already knows in English? English usually being their home language. How many how many words of English do you think they might know at that stage? In the chat box, let me know. Very few. Actually, remember, this is, I'm talking about students from New Zealand where we speak English as a home language. Or you can think of America, you can think of the UK, you can think of South Africa, Australia. So Chawai says 3,000, guess, okay. Any other guesses? 
Yeah, quite a, quite a bit, Albert, right? How much? Yeah, 8,000, says Tomoko. Wow, I think, I don't, Tomoko, I think you're, you're a year or two ahead. <laughs> oh, actually, no, you're not. You're okay. You're not bad. You're not bad with 8,000, right? Let's take a look. So this is from um, a, a vocabulary uh, expert, like looking at literacy development, vocabulary development, right? Um, it says in here, when the students get to about the age of five, they will know just over 2,000 words of vocabulary. But notice there is a difference when you look at the next one. It says here they've got an expressive vocabulary and a receptive vocabulary. So when Tomoko in the chat box said 8,000, that's not uncommon as a receptive vocabulary. In other words, you kind of know what those words mean, right? Uh, in terms of what you might use, maybe Chawai is closer, like 3,000, two to 3,000 might be what you use, okay? Uh, one question, of course, is what is a word? So for example, is, are, am, was, and were, um, are, they, are they the same word or are they different words? They're all be verbs, right? Are they the same or are they different, right? But let's put that aside. But the point is that these students know a lot of language to be able to converse in English, okay? They can't read and write yet, okay? Uh, or they're just learning to read and write, but they can converse. They can use English in their daily lives quite well, okay? So that's the kind of thing we're talking about. Um, but also what we have to think about is we have to think about how these students are developing in a socio-emotional kind of way. Uh, this is the CASEL framework, if you're familiar with this one. And so as we're working through this kind of program, we're also looking at developing these kinds of skills like self-awareness and self-management and social awareness and relationship skills and building these things up, as it says here, in classrooms and in schools. Okay, very good. So let's take a look at what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to jump in to the classroom presentation tool, except I hit the wrong button. So let me try again. And you're now my students. I'm now the teacher for the next 45, 50 minutes. So welcome, everybody. How are you today? So actually, you can see a picture here. But before we do this, actually, I want to take a look at what did you eat or drink today? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? What did you eat or drink today? What did you have for breakfast, I'm assuming? For me, it's my afternoon currently, so it was lunch, OK? So Will had, let's write this down, a few of these down, toast and coffee. Oh, coffee. OK, very good. What else have we got? A latte. OK, that's a coffee, I guess. A sandwich. Very good. OK, so let's write that down. W-I-C-H. Very good. We have some bread. Very good. A couple more. Oh, avocado. That's a cool one because that's a new word that you won't know as students. OK, you won't have seen it very much anyway. Apple, I think you know. Okay, so we've got five words there. Let's practice looking at the words and spelling the words because today we really want to focus on reading and writing and literacy. That's what today's lesson is all about. Okay, so let's do the first one here, toast. Okay, with your fingers. I want you to show me your fingers and I want you to count the letters as we spell. Are you ready? We're gonna go T-O-A-S-T. -T. How many? Five, right? Very good. T-O-A-S-T. -T. Very good. Okay. Let's look at the next one down here. What about this one here? Thank you, Will. <laughs> Teacher can't spell. That's okay. My students correct me all the time. Okay, next one. Coffee. Ready to go. C-O-F-F-E-E. -E. Very good. Okay. Coffee. How many was that? Six. Very good. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, are you ready? Sandwich. Go. S-A-N-D-W-I-C-H. Very good. How many? Eight. Very nice. And we can go through them all and we can spell avocado correctly. Thank you, Will. Okay. Okay. So very good. Everybody's doing good. Now, do you like these things? Who likes toast? Who likes toast? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Good job. This would just be in my class, right? Mm. Who likes avocado? Who likes avocado? Does anyone like avocado? Me, says some people. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Very good. And last one. Who now? <laughs> your five-year-old students or six-year-old students. Who likes coffee? No, oh, right. Coffee's disgusting. Okay. <laughs> very good. Okay. Coffee. Very good. What do you like? Okay. So do you remember one? We, the other day, we learned this. We learned what do you, oops, you 
It's got an extra line there. What do you like? Okay, everybody read with me. What do you like? Very good, practicing the text, right? Okay, I want you to ask your friend, go ask your friend, what do you like? And they will say, I like sandwich, or I like toast, or I like bread, or I like avocado, okay? And we can do a, a mixer activity. You like avocado toasts as well with coffee, okay? <laughs> Very good. Okay. So now that we've seen what we've ate and drank today, let's go back and take a look at that picture I saw before. We have some new words to learn. We saw this picture. Ooh. What do you see here? What do you see? We can see some animals. What animals are those? What animals are those? Yep, a hare, very good. Or most kids would say a rabbit and a bird, probably, right? Yeah, very good. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. What is what is happening here? What is happening? Hmm. Does does the does the eagle want to make friends with the with the hare? I don't know. Let's look at the word. Let's look. Run away. Ooh. Run time. away. Run away. Run away. Run away. He wants to run away. Okay, everybody, show me with your hands. Show me, run away, ah! Okay, <laughs> if we were in class, we could all run away from the scary teacher or something, okay? So everyone, run away, ah! Okay, <laughs> very good. Okay, let's look at the next picture. We've got some more pictures here. Ooh, what is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> looking at the plant, says Kitty. She's looking at the plant, that's right. But if we say, I look at the plant. What about yesterday? Or I see the plant. What about yesterday? What do we say for yesterday? Yesterday I yesterday I saw saw the plant. That's right. Yesterday I saw the plant. S A W is saw. Okay. One more time. Saw. Very good. Okay, next one. What's the next word here? Ooh. Now let's see. What are they doing? They're running, right? Do you think they're slow or do you think they're quick what do you think are they slow or quick you think they're quick quickly oh they're going very quickly yes they are running quickly yeah they're running quickly very good quickly quickly okay next one what about this oh wow before we had a bird an eagle and a, and a hare or a rabbit now we've got a, a cheetah and a wildebeest oh okay what do you think happens here? Ran away. Well, we did ran away before, Kitty. Good guess. Do you think that cheetah will catch the wildebeest? <sighs> do you think it will catch it? You think it will? I don't think it will. I think it got away. I think it got away. Yeah, it got away. Very good. It got away from the from the cheetah. So no lunch for the cheetah today. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and then this one. Ooh. It's sunny and it's green and it's quiet. It's quiet. Mm, very quiet. Can you be quiet? Very good. You're all very quiet. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the words one more time. So we have what's this word? Quiet, right? What's this one? Got away, right? This one? Quickly. 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 Very good. This one? Yesterday I saw, very good. And last one, this one, Kitty, this is the one you thought before. Run, Run away. away, very good. Run away, very good. Okay, so now that we know some words, we're gonna use the words in a second, but let's look, what is this? There is something here, what can you see? What is this? Legs, says Will, are they like your legs, Will? <laughs> and feet. Are they like your feet? Will has skinny legs. Okay, good. <laughs> they're not your feet, Kitty. Oh, they're claws, Charlie. Yeah, they've got, right? They've got claws on them, yeah? An eagle leg. You think it's an eagle leg, Zibanezo? Yeah? Very cool. Could be an eagle. Hmm, let's see. Let's move a little bit further. Let's move a little bit further. Ooh. Does that look pretty? Or does that look ugly? Oh, you see a shadow, Sammy. Yes, I see a shadow too. I see stones as well. It looks kind of pretty, doesn't it? What colors are there? What colors are there? 
yeah, it's kind of it's like gray. Yeah, there's some gray. There's some like kind of light brown or maybe tan, depending on what you think. There's some white and some black. There's all sorts of colors. Yeah, a little bit of brown. Very good. Let's go up a little bit more. Do, 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 Oh, there's some more black and some white. It looks like a quail, Zebo. Yeah, it is. Look at that. It's a quail. Let me zoom out. It's a quail. There we go. Wow, that's a cute little, it's a cute quail. Now, I have a question. Do you think, is this a big bird or a little bird? What do you think? Is this a big bird or a little bird? Big bird or a little bird? You think it's little kitty? Will thinks it's small. A beautiful little quail, says Ebeniso. Yeah, a little bird. So you all, have you seen a quail? Who's seen a quail before? Who's seen a quail before? How big is the quail? Well, I have something to show you here. Let me, let me show you. So I need to turn off my background, I think, to do this. Let me, because otherwise you won't see very well. So let me turn off my background here. Okay, so I have this. What is this? What's that? What's that one? It's an egg. It's a chicken egg. That's right. This is a chicken egg, right? This is a chicken egg. Okay, now I'm going to show you another one. And this is another egg. And this little one is a quail egg, right? So that's a chicken egg, and this is a quail egg, right? So which is which one is bigger? Which one is bigger? Which one is bigger? Because we do math and comparisons in this class as well, right? The chicken egg is bigger than the quail egg. That's right. Yeah. Very good. Four quail eggs equals one chicken egg, says Will. Depends on how big your quail is, right? <laughs> Some quail are really, really small, right? Okay. But that, oh, there's the eggs, right? Maybe I can make this one bigger if I do this. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cheating, right? Okay, I can't do that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Why do I have quail eggs? We'll find out later on. Okay, so let's go back down to here. Do, 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 do. Put the background back on again. Very cool. Okay, so we have this little quail here, and we have kind of a little song here, right? So I want you to listen. Listen to the song for a moment. Here we go. I'm going to open this up. And let's take a look. Oh, here we go. The quiet quail. Mm. Oh, where, oh, where did the little quail go? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his little comb on his little head, has the quick little quail run away? Ah, uh, next a little bit. Oh, can't go down. The little quail had to run away. He saw a fox in the bush. So the quiet quail couldn't stop and play. Extra quickly, he got away. Very good. Wow. Now, we had some words today. Do you remember the new words we had? We had some words that we learned today, didn't we? What were some of the words that you can see? Can you see the words that we learned today? Can we see some of the words? Yeah, we did run away, didn't we? Where's, where's run away? Run away, there's run away. And got away, very good, yeah. And what else did we have? Quickly, that's right, quickly. And quiet, oh, the quiet quail. Very cool, yeah. Very, oh, and saw, where's saw, there's saw. Very good. So those are some of the other words. Now, we've got another word. This word is quail, quail, right? That word is quail. Okay. Now, what I want to do is we're going to play this with no sound, but this time we're going to read. This time we're going to read, okay? Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to play, and we're going to watch the yellow, right? Actually, maybe I'll, maybe I'll turn the music on because otherwise it's a bit hard. Okay. We'll do it with the sound. We'll do it with the music. Okay. So watch. We're going to do this. Ready? The quiet quail. I'll do the first one and you can watch. Oh, where, oh, where. Oh, what's the next word? What's the next word? The next word is where, do... where right? Oh, so I stopped it. 
aware oh where right okay so we're gonna keep going and let's see if you can do the other words okay are you ready here we go where did the little quail oh what's next what's next go very good well wow okay let's see if we can keep going here go oh where oh where can he be with his oh what's next With his little, very good, Dory. Well done. Little comb. Yeah, the comb is this little black thing on his head. Yeah. Little comb on his little head. Has the quick little quail run up. Oh, what's that word? <laughs> I was a bit slow, wasn't I? Away. Very good. Two more. Two more. Here we go. Away. Run away. He saw a oh, what's that next word? A fox. Very good. A fox. Cool. Fox in the bush. So the quiet quail couldn't stop and. Oh, what's next? Play. Very good. Well. Play. Extra quickly, he got away. Very nice. Well done. Good job. So you guys are good at reading, yeah? Because you can follow the song and you can read the words when they come up. So we're practicing our reading. Very nice. Okay. So let's close this one. Boom. Back to our quail here. Very good. Okay. So quick little quails. Mm. And we've got some words and things we're going to play with today. Very nice. Okay. But before we play with that, I need a drink. My throat is dry today. That's better. OK, so let's see. We're going to do some letters. Now, what letters can you see here? What letters can you see? What letters are they? There's a Q and an X, right? Now, Q, what sound does Q make? Q makes qu, 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 right? Qu, qu, qu. Okay, quick, quick. Very good. Well, and Zebo, very nice phonetics. <laughs> okay, now do you know some words that have qu in them? Qu, like quiet. That's one. Do you know more words like that? Quiet. What else? Question. Very good. Nice, Isabel. Quit. Queen. Very good. Quilt, Andrea. I like it. Very nice. Questions, Ebenezer. Oh, very cool. Quiz, Arlene. Do you want a quiz, Arlene? Uh, maybe later. Okay, we don't have time for a quiz right now. Very good. And quail is another one that has a quick, quick, quick. Okay. Now, what about? <laughs> very good, Will. Uh, next one. X. What does X sound like? X sounds like X, 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 right? Do we know some with X? So we had fox before, right? Fox. That was one. Socks. Oh, socks has the sound, but we spell it with a S O C K S, not an X, right? Oh, a box story, a fax, Andrea. Six, Zimini. So, yeah, we've got six, right? Six, very nice. Ox is about very nice. Fix, Arlene. Very good. Yeah, there's so many. There's lots and lots of words, right? Yep. And if you're mom and dad and, and teachers, then there's another one called tax, which we don't like. Okay, <laughs> mix taxis, everything's so very good. Okay, lots of different ones. Now, can you write a Q and an X? Let me switch to my whiteboard. Let's go back to my whiteboard, which is over here. We're gonna go down. Oh, what are these? What are these? What, what are they? What are they? What are they doing here? They're quails. Why are there quails here? That's weird. Oh, maybe we'll find out later. Okay, let's keep going down. Why are there quails there? Okay, let's go down to here. Oh, now let's see. So we've got some space to write. We'll do that in a minute. So Q, we have big Q and little Q, big X and little X. Okay, today we don't have much time. Do you want to write the big letters or do you want to write the little letters today? First person in the chat box, big letters or little letters? Big letters says well. Okay, so we're gonna do, this one, and we're gonna do this one. Not too different for X anyway. <laughs> okay, so take your finger, I want you to take your hand, okay, and take your finger on your hand, and we're gonna practice doing Q. So Q is a circle, one, 
and then a line, two, like that, okay? So one, two, okay? Do it three times, ready, go. One, two, three, okay? Very good, okay, now we're gonna do it smaller. Take your thumb, and we're gonna do Q on your thumb just here, ready? Three times, ready, go. One, uh, two, uh, three. Uh, oh, so small. Now we can do it on here. Look, we can go one, two, like that. Is that pretty? Is that nice? My students would say, teacher, no, you've got this piece wrong and this piece wrong. Oh, okay, let me try again. Okay, so one, two, got to write nicely. Got to write nicely. Two, like that. There we go. Very <laughs> good. Okay, very good. And then we can practice down here, like one, and two, okay, looks good. Okay, let's do X really quickly and then we're gonna move on because we don't have much time today. Take your hand. Okay, so with your hand, we're gonna go one, two. Nice and easy, nice and easy. So ready, one, two, three times, go. One, two, three, very good. Okay, now on your thumb, little on your thumb. Ready, go, one, two, three. Okay, now for some fun, let's do it for some fun. Let's use your nose and draw with your nose. Draw X with your nose, okay, ready, go. One, <laughs> one more time, one, two. Okay, very good, okay. And now we can do it on here. We can go one, uh, two. Oh, that one's pretty, that's nice, isn't it? Okay, so let's draw one more X down here. One, two, is that good? That looks pretty good. Okay, out of 10, how much do you give the teacher for his Q? Out of 10, how much do you give me? And out of 10 for my X. Out of 10, what, what score will you give me? What score out of 10, students? Oh, Dory's giving me a 10 out of 10. What about for my X? How does my X look? A, a 19? 19s of any sort? I think you meant 10. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Nice. Very good. Okay. Thank you, students. I am very happy today. Can you, can you, when we write later, can you write good X's and good Q's and then I'll be happy too. Is that okay? Okay, good job, give me five. Very nice. Okay, very good. So let's see, we have, if I go back to my screen, go back over here, we have some pictures and some sentences down here. So let's see, we've got a sentence and it's about a quail, right? What's this? What's this thing here? A lizard, right? Let's listen. Let's listen and see what it says. Oh, go. Chime in. One, the quail is quick and quiet. Oh, the quail is quick and quiet. Very good. Okay, let's listen to the second one. Two, the lizard is quick and quiet. Oh, the lizard is quick and quiet as well. Hmm. Okay, so let's everybody read together. Ready? I'm gonna go. The quail is quick and quiet. Very good. And the next one, the lizard is quick and quiet. Very good. Okay. And we can practice reading. Now there are two more here. Mm, there are two more here. Which one is different? Don't worry about the right hand side, just look on the left hand side here. One, two, three, four. Which one is different? Which one is different? Is it one, two, three, or four? Number four, Chow Wei. Why is it different? What is different about number four? What is different about number four? It has a butt. Very good. It has a butt here. That's right. It's got a butt. Yeah. What else is different? So this one is and, this one is but. Yeah, it's not quick. Oh, if you are not quick, what's the word for that? If you are not quick, you are slow. That's why Raymond, very good, he is slow, very good. Nice, okay. So we could say the inchworm is quiet and slow. Mm, okay, very good. Okay, now down here, oh, remember at the top here, we saw a lizard, right? Down here it says, I see a lizard, but there's a problem. Let's find out what the problem is. Let's jump to here and we're gonna go down a little bit. Now, if we look at this one, hmm, what does this say? Who can read this for me? 
the fox ran to get to his den. Very good. Those are all pretty much phonetic words, so they're nice and easy to read, right? Now, this one is good. Let's see. What is good about this word? And what is good about this? Who can tell me what's good? Who can tell me what's good? I'll give you a hint. What's good about this? And what's good about this? Why is this good? Why is this good? If you've been teaching your students about these things, they'd probably be able to answer. Yeah, very good, Sammy. We've got a capital letter at the start and we've got a period at the end. Very good. But when we look at this one, is it good? Is this one good? No? Okay, so can you fix it for me? And I get my students to write it out, right? And hopefully they will do something like I, and then I would write this down afterwards to go through it with them. I see the lizard. Is that good? Am I good? Do I get 10 out of 10? I get 10 out of, no, says Dory. Dory, why not? Why don't I get 10 out of 10, Dory? Why don't I get 10 out of 10? Period, Arlene. I've got a period, yeah, I've got a period. This is, but Dory's saying this is not good. Oh, you didn't see the period. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Is this good? Oh, Zebaniso. Yeah, very good. This is too far away. Look. Ah! Very good. Okay. Oh, the eye and the lizard. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> very good. Okay. Yeah, too far away. So this one should be over here, shouldn't it? That's better. Now it's nicer. Right? Very good. So I see the lizard with a proper eye, period. Very good. <laughs> and this is the thing. When my students catch me out on all those little mistakes, they should be because I should be teaching them all the right ways, right? So when I do it wrong, and then I get stuff wrong all the time, and it's like, very good, you found my mistake. Well done, right? Because I want them to catch me as well on the things that I do wrong. I don't do them wrong on purpose. I just do them wrong. Okay? Very good. But it's good. it's good for the kids to practice as well. Okay, now we've got one more phonics thing to do, and then I have a friend for you to meet. Do you want to meet my friend? You want to meet my friend later? Are you interested in seeing my friend? My friend is making noise, but you probably can't hear it. Nanik wants to meet my friend. Very cool. Okay, so let's see. We've got one more thing to do. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to skip over this whole page. We're going to do that next class. And we're going to jump to this page here. Mm, let's see. Say the word slowly. Mm. Now, what do they mean by slowly? I will show you. We're going to say, how many letters are there in, in this one just here? This one just here. In this one here, there are two letters, right? So for this word, there are two sounds, okay? What's the first sound? Who can tell me the sound for I? I, I, what does it sound like? I, that's right, I, very good, okay. What about T? T sounds like T, very good, very good. Okay, so I want you to take your hands, take your hands, okay? So this hand is I, for I, right? And this hand is T for T, okay? And so we're gonna go I, 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 T, 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 I, I, T, T, I, T, I, T, okay? Very good. So you can do it with me. I'll just do it really, really fast because I know you're smart. It, 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 it. Very good. Okay. Now the next one, we've got an H. What does H sound like? What does H sound like? H sounds like <sighs> right? Not huh. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to do that because otherwise this word doesn't sound like right. Okay. So <sighs> okay, very good. Now, two hands again. This time this one is. And this one is it, okay? It, okay? So ready? We're gonna go. It, 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 hit, okay? Or we can just do it much faster. We can just go. It, hit, right? Very good. Okay. Very good. Now, what about this one down here? What's different? So we've got hit, and we've got this word. What's different? What's different? Actually, I'm going to switch screens and I'm going to go to my other screen because I've got this on my other screen as well, on my whiteboard down here. Here we go. 
So I've got this word. Remember, this is what we had before. And what's different here? We've got an F. What does F sound like? Sounds like F, right? Okay, so this time we're going to go F and it. We'll just do it one time and bang. Okay, ready to go. F, it, fit. Very good. Okay, now what's different with the next one? What's different with the next word? What's different with the next word? It's got an X, right? Yeah, it's got an X, right? Okay, so this time, I-X sounds like X, right? So we're gonna go F, X, right? Okay, ready to go, F, X, fix. Very good, okay, now we've got two more here. Oh, what did we change? We changed the O. So who can tell me, what's this word? What's this word? That's right, it's fox. Fox, right? Fox, fox, very good. And then what about the last one? We changed this one, right? And now it's b ox, box, right? Now, can you help me make some more words? Whoops. What should we change? What should we change? What things should we change here? Should we change the B or the O or the X? And what should we change it to? What should we change it to? Let's see. What do you think? Any ideas? Mm, I've got an idea. Let me show you. I'm going to change this one to a G, right? So then we would have this. Now, what's this word? O-G sounds like og. Yeah, og. Very good. So then we got og, bog. Very good. Okay. Who can give me, uh, and Choa, you're saying swamp. Actually, I don't care if the kids don't really know what the word means. This is just a, fa a phonics lesson, right? We don't worry about the meaning of the words too much in a phonics lesson, right? Okay, so we're going to change this. Oh, Kitty wants to change the O back to an I again. And I'll put the dot on this time, Kitty. Very good. Okay. So this one is big, big. Very good. Okay. Now, can we do another one? Oh, Kitty's got another one. Kitty's, man, Kitty's wanting to do lots today. Kitty, I think we have to give everyone else a turn now. Fig. Very good. Can we do some more? Let's go up here. Let's put fig down. Who's got some other ones we can do? Oh, Albert. I like Albert. Your one. We're going to change this to a P. And then we've got pig. Then we're going to change this one to a W for Dory. And then we've got a wig. A dig. Wow, where everybody's just changing the first letter. Can we change one of the other letters? Dig. What else could we change? What other letter could we change? Could we change the I or the G? Oh, okay. If we go from here, yeah, we could change the I to an O. And then it would be fog. That would be good. Or dog. That's right. We could change this one. And then I can just get my students to keep doing this. And they can do it in pairs. So they can play with each other and make... Lots and lots of words, right? Sog, hog, log, right? Lot, dot, right? They can just change anything, right? And we can have a lot of fun with that. Good job. Well done, everybody. And then we can read through them all and pronounce them all, and that's cool. Okay, very good. Now, one more little thing. Now, you can do that with little words. What about this? What about this here? What does this say? Can we read this? Can we read this? The fox ran to his den. Hmm, what is a den? I will show you. A den is like this, which looks a little bit like this. Doesn't it? Looks a little bit like that. So what is a den? What do you think a den is? For a fox, a den is like his home, right? It's like the fox's house. Yeah, exactly, Arlene. It's like his home. Very cool. Okay. And it's his den. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to, we're going to put some things in here. We're going to change some things. We're going to have one. We're going to have two. Uh, we'll keep this one. This one's always going to stay the same. And then we're going to change this one. Okay. Good. So here we've got a thing. That's my my little symbol for a thing. Here we've got some sort of action, which means someone is moving or doing something. And here we've got another thing. Hmm. So I could say, for example, the boy, so I'm changing the boy, ran to, and I'm going to change this one as well, the school. I changed two. Okay. Cool. So I want you, can you think of another sentence? We can do a little bit like this. Can you make another sentence? Change one or two things? 
you can change you can change ran if you want you can change the boy you can change the school what could we say what could we say what could we say who can make a sentence like this sentence oh very good zebony so the girl so you'd be saying it and then i write it down on my board right to the park very nice and then everybody can read it right Oh, very good. So the bird flew. I like that one too. It's nest. Oh, not we don't have that one, do we? To it, it's nest. Very good. I didn't put my periods on. Oh, naughty teacher. Okay. Very good. Oh, Zimini, so your son is making sentences. That's cool. Good fun, right? Okay. The woman ran to her room. Very good. The woman ran to her room with my students i write more neatly than this i promise right but today i'm going really quickly it's a bit harder with a digital pen as well okay the man hit the rock i like that one as well albert that's my last one the man hit the rock and i didn't put my dot on my eye did i or on bird very good okay very good Nice job. The teacher taught us English. Very good. The teacher ran out of the classroom. I don't know. <laughs> the teacher ran away. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So we have lots of different lots of different sentences we can say. Let's look at some sentences in a little story. Let's read them quickly and then we can meet my friend, okay? Okay. So if I go like this, oh, actually, I just need that much, I think. And we'll go to here. We have some photos in a photo story. We have some photos. I think we can read these ones, but let's remember what the animals are. What animals are these ones? Sheep, that's right, Albert. Are these big sheep or little sheep? Are these baby sheep or mummy and daddy sheep, adult sheep? What do you think? Ah, uh, yeah, these are baby sheep, Junie. These are lambs, right? We can see here, lambs, L-A-M-B-S, lambs, okay? Baby sheep, that's right. Okay, now let's look at the next picture, oh, which is down below here. What are they? What are they? They have some interesting expressions. They are bear cubs, that's right. Very good, you know cubs, very good, because we did it as a phonic word. Very good, cubs, very nice, cubs. Okay, number three, what's number three? What animals are they? What animals? What animals? Yeah, they're baby foxes, right? Baby foxes or fox cubs, indeed. Fox cubs, baby foxes, okay? And then what about these ones down here? What are these animals? What are they? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come here. Didn't want to go down. What are these animals? Puppies, that's right. They are puppies or pups, right? I think we can read all of these. Let's go back to the first one and let's try and read them all, okay? And we just work with my students to go through them. The sun is up. It is hot. Little lambs have fun and play in the sun. And if we want, we've got some audio. We can use the audio track to help us, right? But yeah, we've got all of these things we can say, okay? And you're so smart, I think you can read them all. So let's read, right? And you'll notice that a lot of the words are high frequency words or uh, phonetic words. And then we've got the animals as well, right? Very good, okay. Well, I think it's time for you to say hello to some of my friends, right? How many, I have a question just before we do that though, how many little, how many little pups are there here? How many little pups are there? How many pups? Six, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And before, if I go back to here, oh, where am I? I've lost my, I've lost my Zoom thing. Where's my Zoom thing? Oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> If we go back to here, I, there was there was some pictures in here before. There was these ones. What are they doing there? What are they doing there? <laughs> Those are quails. Now I have a picture here. Hmm. I have a picture. This these are quails. How many quails can you see? How many quails can you see? How many quails? So we've got some quails. How many quails? Four, five, four. Well, let's count them. So here we've got one, two, 
yeah? And then if you see there's three, there's one hiding there, there's one hiding at the front, four, and then at the back, hiding right at the back, number five and number six. So we have six, ah, six quails. You say, see nine? Where do you see nine? I don't think there's nine, Joey. <laughs> Unless you're imagining there's another quail like here and here, but no, there aren't, right? There's no quails there. If I go down a little bit more, here's another picture. And again, can you see all six? Can you see all six? These are the same quails. Can you see six? I might need to make the picture a little bit smaller, mightn't I? Let me make the picture a little smaller. So we can see one, two, and there's one hiding at the front. There's a couple having food at the back, and then there's another one hiding way over here, but they're really hard to see sometimes. Huh? But let's see, let's make it easier for you to see the quails, okay? So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn this off because otherwise this doesn't work too well. Yeah, six quails. But let's see, I'm gonna let you say hello to my friend. Hello. Oh, hey, what's up? Look, look, who's this? Hello. <laughs> Hello, who's that? <laughs> oh, 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 he's trying to fly away. <laughs> I've got him though, he's not going anywhere. I was trying to let you see his body, but if I if I take my hands away too much, see there's his legs. There's his legs, he's got long skinny legs like teacher Will. <laughs> and here's, oh, the little kid. Hello, your famous little bird. <laughs> You're on. You're on the internet. <laughs> so this is one of my six quails. And this one, do you, can you guess his name? He has a name. He has a name because he's got all these little marks on his back like this. This one is called Lightning because he has, he is not a baby. This is a full grown quail. This is a full grown quail. You can see he's about as big as my hand, right? This is a full grown quail. Yeah. And he's pretty patient. Hello. <laughs> now I've got one more friend here because you can't just have one quail. We've found one. Okay. Oh, 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 come here. Come here. Oh, trying to run away. <laughs> Hello. And here's number two. And you can see this one's a different color, right? It's a different color quail. This one is our this one is our calmest quail. It doesn't run away. You see, it's been very nice. This one has a Chinese name because I used to live in Taipei. This one's called Guai Guai, <laughs> right? And this is the little quail. You can see the, the tummy is white and the back is kind of all stripy and things. And that's Guai Guai. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Put them away now. Put little quails back in your cage. Very good. Do you like my friends? Do you like my friends? Yeah, those, you, someone, you're asking how old they are. Those quails are, I have to think, they are four months old. They are four months old, okay? So less than half a year, right? And they make, each of those quails makes eggs, right? How many eggs do you think? In one week, how many eggs does one quail, how many eggs does it make in one week? Seven days, how many eggs? Seven days, how many eggs? Seven, someone's guessing seven. Maybe four, maybe seven. Actually, they make about six. So they have one almost every day. So one quail, about six eggs every day. Oh, sorry, not every week, excuse me, not every day, oh my man. <laughs> so the, the quails we have, the white quail is a boy and all the other quails are girls. And so we get four or five eggs every day from our quails. They are quiet and quick little quails, quick at laying eggs. <laughs> yes, you can eat the eggs. Uh, as Will said before, if you have a chicken egg and you have a quail egg, Sunday is off to Mocha, yeah. <laughs> so a quail egg, you can see it's about three or four of these little ones to make this one. So if, do you like omelets? One of my friends says he likes omelets and usually he makes omelets with these. But he said, if he used these, he could make a 20 egg omelet, <laughs> which is kind of crazy, right? Very good, very nice. So those are my little quail friends, right? Now, what could we say, 
let's see, we've got to we've got to have something educational, not just look at quails. We've got to do something interesting, right? Down here, this is a picture of some baby foxes, and it says we want to write a sentence. We want to say something about the foxes, but no, we're going to do it about the quails. What can we say about the quails? Let's try and make some sentences about the quails. So if I go back to this one, here's my little quails, but what sentences can we say? So if we say maybe the quails, or quail, you can say one, or you can say more than one. The quails are mm and mm, period. What can we say? <laughs> Rosie is saying delicious. I hope that's, uh, I mean, you can eat the quail if you want, but then there's no more eggs. Okay. <laughs> what can we say? The quails are, the quails are delicious. Okay. <laughs> the quails are quick and quiet. The quails are enjoying the sunshine. That's right. They are zebra. They love the sunshine. They like to sit and, yeah. The quails are hidden here and there. I like that, shall we? Very good. What else could we say? The quails are resting in the den. Well, actually, quails don't have a den. They don't live in anything. They, you can see some grass on the screen. They like to hide under the grass, like this one. They like to hide under the grass, but they don't make a den. They don't live in a cave. Okay? The quails are sitting and happy, says Tomoko. Very nice. The quails are round and fluffy, says Isabel. That's true. They are cute and healthy. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're having quiet time. Very good. Except the two at the back, they're eating. <laughs> Very good. Okay. And let me see. Let me see. We're going to do a little bit of math to finish up today. Mm, a little bit of math. Silent and cool. Yeah, they are pretty cool, right? We're going to do a little math to finish today. So I'm going to switch back to my screen here. Math. You like math. Yeah, come on. You like math. We're going to talk about things to do with math words, okay? So what words do we have? We have move and speed and strong. Those ones are easy, but then I want to look at these words, these three, okay? Quickly, quicker, and the quickest. Quickly, quicker, and the quickest. Okay, now this is a writing activity. We're going to see who can write quickly, okay? So I'm going to tell you something, and I want you to write it down. And we are going to see who is quick, who is quicker than someone else, and who is the quickest, because we need to practice these kind of language frames, like at the bottom here. So we're going to talk about speed, like this really fast cheetah, okay? So let's see. I'm going to tell you two words, and you have to write them. So for today, you can type them in the chat box, okay? I'm going to tell you two words, and you have to write them down, okay? As fast as you can. Here we go. The two words are fox and quail. Go, fox and quail. Type them in the chat box. Oh, Isabel is the quickest. Fox and quail. Wow. So fast. Isabel is the quickest. And Junie is now said, fo fo I, it's okay, I know, I know, that's fine. The fox and the quail are good friends. Yeah, the fox loves to have the quail for dinner. <laughs> yeah, so I could say that Isabel is quick and Junie is quick. Isabel is quicker than Junie, right? Very good. And then I can say Isabel is the quickest. Okay, let's do two more words. Are you ready? Because I spelled it wrong earlier, we're going to, I'm going to use a word that we had earlier, see if you can spell it the right way, and an easy word, okay? So the, the two words are little avocado, little avocado, go, 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 little avocado, little avocado, chime in the chat box, very good, oh, there we go, okay, so Sammy is quick, yeah, Sammy is quicker than Momo, Sammy is quicker than Momo, but who is the quickest? Who is the quickest? I think it was, who was the quickest? The chat box is going too fast for me to see who the quickest. Masayo is the quickest. Very good, okay? Very good. Imam is pretty quick, but but yeah, Momo is quicker. And then, yeah, some other people are the quickest. One person is the quickest. Okay, very good. So let's see, what about, what about we do something else? 
who is the strongest? Who says I am the strongest? Who thinks I am the strongest? In the chat box, who, who says I am the strongest? The bear? Yeah, no, I, the, the person. Who? You? Are you the strongest person? Are you the strongest person? You are the strongest, Imam. Zibo says I am the strongest. Arlene says I am. Okay. So if I say I want you to carry chicken eggs, I want to see how strong you are. How many chicken eggs can you carry? How many chicken eggs can you carry? Since we're talking about eggs today. <laughs> how many chicken eggs can you carry? One dozen, says Arlene. You can carry thousands, Albert. Wow. Albert is stronger than Arlene. <laughs> I think Albert is the strongest if he can carry thousands. That's a lot of chicken eggs. Very good. Okay, so let's quickly review. What did we do today? What did we do today? So let's go back. So we did quick, quicker, and quickest. Very good. Okay, we did some reading. Very good job, everybody. We had lots of reading. Okay, and we did some phonics and changed some letters and did some letters and sounds and words and switch things around, okay? And we wrote Q and X, very good, yep. And we learned some stuff about quails and you got to meet my little friends. Did you like that? Was that fun? Good job, we were gonna see you next class, okay? Okay, very good everybody. So I hope that was useful to show you some different things. You can see today I was focusing really a lot on things like phonics and words and reading and spelling because I'm in this lesson really focusing on literacy, right? Um, and as well as that, if I jump back to here, um, so if I just jump up a little bit, really focusing on literacy, uh, because the students know a lot of words, I can say a lot of things with them because they have a good receptive vocabulary and then they can tell me lots of things with what they can produce. And also at different times, we're talking about uh, some different things, just some different things about what do you like or how, do, how does, you know, what do you feel about this? And, and understanding some of these things as well, adding a little bit of social and emotional learning in there as well. Okay. <laughs> You're a great 12 student at the moment. You're enjoying the session. Very nice. <laughs> the quail are getting upset. I have to get them back to the cage soon. Very good. Anyway, so yeah, just to wrap up today, we will have some questions in a moment if you do have any. Um, but just to let you know, uh, tomorrow I will send you a recording link to this session plus the certificate from the session as well. Uh, so that will come to your email tomorrow. Uh, and we do have one more webinar coming up. The reason today I was focusing a lot on reading and phonics and literacy and these things is coming up later this week, um, this is Friday, right? Uh, we've got a, uh, a, a an author whose name is Honor. And uh, she is one of the authors who helped write material for the program I just showed you. And she's going to be talking about teaching literacy to this kind of learner. So definitely come along and uh, have a listen to what Honor has got to say about that. And you can find um, that on our uh, webinars webpage. I will just drop that into the chat box right now. There is the link for that. And then if you want to find out a little bit more about the program I was doing today, then that would be the link. But again, I will send you the information in an email tomorrow as well. Okay, very good. So yeah, uh, definitely wait until you hear from us tomorrow. And if you want to get in touch about this program, um, you can always drop me an email and then I'll get you in touch with someone locally uh, who can teach you a little bit more about this program and what it can do if you teach this kind of student. Okay, very good. So I've left a few minutes for questions. Thank you, Will, for dropping those in the chat box as well. Um, but if anyone uh, has any questions about anything I did or about this kind of learner or about teaching literacy or things like that, I'm happy to answer them right now. So let me know what kind of questions you have, please. We've got three or four minutes to do a few questions. Very good. I see Albert, you asked a question um, and Will dropped a, uh, a website into there for you for different things to do with teenagers and adults uh, for teaching conversation and grammar and reading and writing skills and things. Yep. So I'm just going to drop that again, just in case you missed that, Albert. Uh, this is what Will suggested for your question. I'll just drop Will's link into the chat box again. Any other questions? We're pretty happy. 
No more questions, says Albert. Albert is happy. That's good. I think my quails want a drink or something like that. I can hear them making noises in the box next to me. I need to get them back with their friends. <laughs> Very good. Well, we'll sign off, everybody, but it's nice to see you. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next webinar again. And hello to Zebaniso and the crew over in the, uh, your neck of the woods. And students, if there's some students joining us today as well, nice to see you. But we'll see you again soon. Uh, and do drop along on Friday for that session by honor. That's going to be really interesting. Always interesting to hear from authors and some of the thinking they have when they put into these kinds of programs. Okay. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> I will feed the quail, shall I? Don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs>